The WoW Neckbeard quiz has been here since March of 2019, and, and this is already the 14th one of them. part. The 14th quiz that anyone can play at their mm -hmm. leisure. Click the link in the video description below to start playing. Stay mm -hmm. if you want to watch the tutorial. Okay. The choice is yours. Should we watch the tutorial, guys? What do you guys want to see? It? You can play in. The two modes are studio mode and standard mode. No, all right. Let's no go ahead and skip up. Uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead, and uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll watch it. It's simple. Who wants to be a millionaire format? All right, let's go. Before Obviously, you. you're excited to play the game, but yes. hear me out. I have gotten a lot of feedback saying that most of my questions are difficult. Too difficult. Okay. I understand you want to finally claim a clean victory. Get all 15 questions right okay. with zero mistakes. Okay. All right. I will relent. Let's do I will that. let you play an easier version this time, if that is what suits you more. Choose. Do you want me to go easy on you? Or let's keep it the way it is. If I were you, I would go for the easy version. Some of the questions I've made there are one of my finest. Um, all right, I'll do the hard one this time and I'll do the easy one next time. Okay, sounds good to me, let's go. That's fine with me, let's do it. A very smart choice. I, I say this because there because is smart. no easy mode. It was a trap to see if you would be cowardly enough to run away from a real challenge. But what? you didn't fall for it. Congratulations, what? you passed the first oh test. My... Now, Are you kidding me? to the real game. Good Are luck. you fucking kidding me, dude? Okay, very clever. Very fucking clever. What is the name of in-game associations which players may create to comprise one or multiple players with related interests? A. Union B. Company. It's a community. C. Clan. A D. Guild. D. Guild. There it is. Okay. Guys, I'm pretty sure it's going to be D. Uh, any uh, any second guessers here? I'm pretty sure it's D. Yeah? Okay. All right. Let's go to D. It's certainly not A, all right? It's not Soviet Russia. Let's relax. You know it. We know it. Everybody let's move on to it. question two. Easy. Easiest easy of my life. Which of these game services is free of charge? Gender change. A. Race change. B. Name change. C. Item restoration. Oh, C. D. Character transfer. I thought it was going to be a trick question. Yeah, it's C. Item restoration is free of charge. Trust me, I know that because I've done it constantly. I assumed that he would have asked the gender thing since they changed that recently. But it's not a trick question, it's only the second one. Yeah, I've item restored a million fucking things. Let's see. Here's what's not free of charge. Victory. That you have got to earn. And on that regard, you are one step further to achieving it. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know that. I really am great. What is the name of a Retribution Paladin defensive spell which reduces physical damage taken and deals damage to melee attackers? A. Tooth for a tooth. B. For a eye dick. for an eye. Dick for a dick. C. Tit for tat. Titty. D. Measure for measure. Okay, it's uh, obviously eye for an eye. I mean, I think that we all know what that is, don't we? Yeah, that's easy. We might have to, yeah, we'll have to phone in McConnell. All right, yeah, this is the easiest question Perfect. of my life. Keep it up. Come on, come on, let's wrap this up. Come on, let's go, I'm ready. I'm ready. Which of these is the name of a wealthy family that had once owned a large portion of land in the Tirisfall Glades, wherein... Barov. They lived. A. Agamand. B. Maris. C. Ladimor. D. Soladin. Wait, oh shit. Was it that not it? It's Maristed. I'm pretty sure it's Maristed. It's got to be Maristed. Well, do you know? Apparently losing this early is possible. Really? Okay, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, I haven't been there forever. An yeah, easy I didn't question. know that. Even easier if you had leveled in Tirasfall Glades. I haven't leveled, the in correct Listen, I haven't leveled in Tirasfall Glades in fucking like 10 years, alright? So, this is, an, this is a horde-only question, alright? 
So it, it's rigged. I mean, let's be honest. It's it's fucking rigged. Answer is A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. I'm ready. Which of these is not a name of a worm mount? Okay. A. Nashatar Blood Serpent. No, that's not it. B. Abyss no. Worm. C. Great Serpent of Nazoth. D. Wriggling Parasite. Okay. Uh, it's C. Uh, I, I know this one. You want to talk about mounts? I know mounts. Uh oh. I think I yeah, well, may I know mounts, have dude. played into your cards with this one. You got it right. Yeah, of course it is. There's a black serpent, a black serpent of the Zoth, but not a not a great serpent of the Zoth. I know this one. Don't worry Good about it. Good job on those first it. five questions. Now you have an access to a 50-50 lifeline. Okay. All right, here we go. From here onward, you can use it at any question you want, here preferably only once. Using it more than once throughout the game is cheating. Is cheating. That, but you know exactly. that, don't you? I would never cheat. Which of these zones is not connected to the Emerald Dreamway? I don't know this one. A. Duskwood. 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 B. The Hinterlands. It's Duskwood. C. Ashenvale. D. Feralus. Yeah, it's Duskwood. A. You had a chance, and you squandered it. Really? Really? Okay, alright, we'll go to C. I didn't know that one. Yeah, I, I didn't fucking know that one at all. Mm -hmm. No dragon mm -hmm. in Ashenvale? Connected to the Emerald Dreamway. Is Yeah. Well, I, I... Wait, yeah, there is. Wait, there is a dragon in there. What the fuck? Each dragon is at a Dreamway. I thought it was like the Druid thing that you would... See, I thought they meant like the Emerald Dreamway is like the Druid thing that you would teleport to. Yeah, it's like the Druid Order Hall. You mean you can teleport from the Druid Order Hall to Duskwood? Really? I didn't fucking know that. Here we go. Here we go. Here Holy we go. shit. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's go. Go. Question seven. You got it right. Okay. Easy. Easy. Yeah, it's like I, I never played Druid. Easy question. Easy question. Phase one of the Portal Keeper Hazabel boss encounter 70%. ends when the boss reaches how much Ooh, actually, percentage of her health? A, 85%. B, 90%. No, it's 90%. C, 80%. D, 95%. It's 90%. I'm pretty sure it's 90%. Witness Zoroth, a world of infernal heat and scorched bones. These are the words that escape two. her mouth the instant you start phase two. At the point where yeah. health it happens drops super early. to 90. You get into raid shit. I know raid shit, okay? Like, the class specific and like fucking... See, the other questions were fucking... They were rigged, man. Like, whenever you talk about numbers, man, I know what the fuck numbers are. Come on, let's go again. Let's go again. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Who or what was Sky Reed? I have no idea. A, a griffin. B, a wind serpent. C, a hippogriff. D, a nether ray. I'm going to assume it's B. I'm going to bet on B. I will use my 50-50. Okay. I'm gonna go with the Griffin. I don't know. I, I don't know. 
I, I don't know. I think it might be for the hindrance. This particular quest creature line. is associated with the sky. Okay. Obviously. Okay. It also was um, somebody's pet. Okay. That somebody was Kurdran Wildhammer. Yes! And he's a dwarf, so... And it's a griffin. I fucking yeah. knew it, man. I fucking knew it. I knew it all along, 100%. Yeah, hundred fucking percent, dude. There it is. All right, let's go. Achievements connected to which of these raid bosses requires a total of two lockouts for completion. Blood Queen Lanathel. That's what the one he's gonna ask. A. Blood Queen Lanathel. B. Scenarius. You know, the fact that you got this question right is an achievement in itself. Good job. The Paragons of the Quaxi requires three. That's how confident I was. I was too easy. For a lot of people, it's not. Okay. Same as, like, horde questions for an Alliance player aren't easy. Which of these names does not belong to either of the beasts kept in Beast Lord Darmac's pens? A. Faultline. That's the Klepto. B. Cruelfang. That's the, the dog. C. Iron Stomper. C. D. Dreadwing. It's C. It's 100% C. Dreadwing is the uh, Rylak. A is Faultline, which uh, activates only on Mythic. And Cruelfang is the uh, dog. You have to spread out for it in order to uh, avoid the bleeds. Uh, yeah, that's an easy fucking C. That's an easy C. Just like my math classes. Easy C. Easy C. Easy C. It's Iron Stomp. Just get it out of there. There it is, dude! Yeah! Alright. Let's fucking do it. I compliment you on your progress. But you still got five questions ahead of you. Let's go. The toughest of all the questions here. Enjoy. Here we go. Which of these is not a name of a farm existing in the game? A. Stonefield no, Farm. It's in the game. B. Soliden Farmstead. C. Dendrit's Fold. D. Maldred's Stead. Maldred's Stead. Maldredstead. Ah, uh, shit. I don't fucking remember, man. Dandred's Fold. Should I just go with Maldredstead just for the fucking memes, man? I, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go with. Nah, man. I'm gonna go with Dandridge Fold. I'm gonna go with Dandridge Fold. That's the one. I'm, I'm going with. C. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with C, dude. Mm, best part about this question, by the way, um, is that you got it wrong. Yeah, you're dead. Mm -hmm. Mauled Red Stead. Really? I I I can't fucking believe it, man. Like I I can't fucking believe it. Like I just I I'm I'm so fucking like that's so, I I I didn't think that was it. I thought it was like a fucking some bullshit, dude. Okay, here we go. Mauled Red. <laughs> Best part about this question, by the way, is that um you you got it right. All right, way to go. Four more to go. Tighten up the dick. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Easy win. Easiest win of my life. Let's go. I'm ready. It's time. Let's pop off. The Muskin is native to which zone? 
How are A. You doing? Alternate Universe Nagrand. B. Stormheim. C. Howling Fjord. D. Town Long Steps. That's an easy one. It's an easy, 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 easy one right there. That's an easiest C in my life. The muskin is a large bovine, most likely inspired after the musk ox, a large mammal native to Greenland and the Canadian Arctic, which is in the north. And the north makes me think of Norse mythology. And that makes me think of Stormheim. Really? Let me see here. Really? I thought they were Howling Fjord. What? Wait, those are Tuscan? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. If they're Tuscan, not Muskin. Are you fucking kidding me, man? That is such bullshit. Oh my god, I don't know what to say. Oh my fu- Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Okay. It's fucking Stormheim. I, I got it. Alright, let's do it. Wow. That is fucking embarrassing. The muskin is a large bovine, most likely inspired after the musk okay. ox, a large mammal native to Greenland and the Canadian Back Arctic, to which said, is in the yeah. north. And the north man, makes C. me think. I, dude, I thought it was fucking. Mythology. I thought it was C, man. And that I did. I thought Storm it was fucking C. I remember killing those things back in the day. I, I was confident in C too. I was a hundred percent fucking confident. All right, here we go. Last three. I'm not going to get any more wrong. After freeing him from Durnhold Keep, Teretha Foxton gave Thrall a necklace bearing an emblem of which shape? A. Crescent Moon B. Star C. A Twin-Headed Eagle D. A Lily Flower I'm thinking it's D. It's either D or A. I don't know the answer to this. I read the book, but I read the book in 10th grade. That was a long time ago. I, I have no fucking idea. I'm gonna go with D. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess D, man, fuck it. You're wrong. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fuck. Okay, well done. let's go. All right. Holy fuck, man. All right, let's go. Worst performance I've ever had. Yeah, this is the worst one I've ever had, man. Okay, here we go. What is the name of the headpiece which makes for one sixth of the Chiji's Battle Gear Monk set? A. A Dowly. B. Dio. C. Daishi. D. Dunai. This is gonna be another guess. I have, I have no I, I have no idea. Like I I, I don't know. Like Chiji's Battle Gear. Uh, which one is that? Like... It's either like A or C, I think. It, I, I think I think it's A, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna guess. Like, I, I have no fucking idea, man. Like, I'm just gonna guess. I, I'll guess I. So, the correct answer please, please do starts it. with the letter D. Please do Obviously. It. Stop, stop. 
As for the name of the set, Just come on, it's, man. Um, that's the monk set from Legion. It's from Antorus. The okay. headpiece drops from Agrimar. And I got this. I remember. Now brace yourself. The correct come on. answer. Come on. Is Dowley. First word that came to mind. I remember whenever I did that back in uh, back in Legion. Uh, I remember I did a community run for my monk, and that I did all the mage tower things on my monk. That's how I remembered it. It was the only thing I remembered. I actually got one right. It made so it right. close yet so far away. All right, one last question. Here we go. Which of these lesser fire lords first introduced in Warcraft 3 have never appeared in World of Warcraft to this day? A. Singe Slayer B. Rage Pyre C. Heat Flayer D. Smolderous Wasn't Smolderous uh, a quest in Hydral? I feel like I know Singe Slayer. I feel like Heat Flayer is the one that's not in the game. I think it's Heat Flayer. I don't know, but it... Motherfucker, dude. I don't know. Like, I'm so worried. I think it's Heat Flayer. There's no way it's not. Like, that sounds like a dumb fucking name. I I'm gonna go with Heat Flayer. Fuck it, dude. Let, let's just, I, I just, man, man, if I lose this one, dude, like, I, I, I swear to God, I had a better not fucking lose this one. All right, come on. It's going to be Heat Flare. Let's see it. Three. Fuck, dude. Maybe it's not. Oh, my God. You have made your choice. Okay. You could have gone for something else. But I don't know if you're going to win this one. I don't. I put a lot of work into this question. But then you came along. And... Absolutely nothing has changed. Sorry that you couldn't win, but then again, it's not my fault, it's yours. Hopefully you have enjoyed playing the game as much as I have enjoyed making it. Now, I will see you until the next video. Friends, until another time. We got fucked. We got fucked, man. That was a bad, that was a bad quiz, boys. That was a bad fucking quiz. They had those easy questions at the beginning, man. They fucked me up, man. They fucked me up so hard. Like, I didn't know what the fuck, man. Like, I am pissed, dude. How, man, this is some bullshit, man. How I miss this many of them. I feel like a goddamn idiot. Son of a fucking bitch. Like, I can't believe this. I feel like a goddamn fucking fool, man. I'm so, oh my god. This is insane. It's embarrassing. Okay. Ultimate neckbeard challenge. All right. I'll take it. A quiz? Yeah, I'll take it. Let's go. And, uh, wait, it said neckbead? Wait, yeah, it's neckbead. Wait, what the fuck? What, did he just take out a letter so it didn't... So it would fit on the screen? Oh, my God. Okay. Welcome to Ultimate Neckbeard Challenge. You okay. for short. Rules are insanely simple. There's 15 questions overall with division right. into three tiers, normal, heroic, and mythic. I can for do questions that. for normal tier, you'll be getting one point for each correct answer. Two points for heroic and okay. three points for mythic, obviously. Easy. Normal difficulty. First question. 
tastes like chicken. Is the achievement I actually you don't get know this. for A. Killing 100 chicken in 3 minutes. B. Eating 50 different dishes. C. Slaying each available race I think it's from B. opponent's faction. I think that it's B. D. Achievement is not in the game. Ah. Uh, I think I think it's B. I'm pretty sure it's fucking B. This one is okay, kind of obvious, so I'm not going to comment on okay. that one, okay? Good. Second question. Gurbashi Arena Master is related to which Thorn Veil. I mean, obviously. A. Zuldrak. Yeah, this is the easy one. B. It's STV. Hellfire Peninsula. Okay. C. Easy. Negron. Easy. D. Strangle Veil. Obviously D. Easy D. Easy fucking D. Easiest D of my life. Clearly D. Everybody knows it's D. You can get this achievement from what getting a joke. Arena Master Trinket from the chest Super in Strangle fucking Veil. Easy. All right, next. Third question. What a long, strange trip it's been. Complete all, it's to complete all of the, um, uh, what do you call it? It's to complete all of the holiday achievements and everything like that. All of the other uh, smaller meta holiday achievements. Requires the player to A. Finish eight seasonal events. There it is, yeah. B. Explore nope. all the zones available. Nope. C. Finish whole storyline of Ungro Crater. No, that's nobody cares the, about that. Get the Violet Proto Drake. Well, it gives you the Violet Proto Drake, but it doesn't require you to get it. So it's A. There it is. Easy. Easy. If you were silly enough to choose D, then you should know that this is a reward for getting the achievement, not the requirement itself. Smart. Yeah, that's exactly Fourth what I question. said. What is the threshold for the last mount achievement? 400. A. 400. 350. No, that's B. the that's the bull infernal. C. No, it's 450. 400. It's 400. Or D. 500. It should be 500 though. Let's be honest. Like it should be 500. I want them to put an achievement in the game where it says 600 mounts. Well, because nobody's gonna have 600 mounts on one character, right? But like just to have that in the game for whenever people break through the threshold, man. That'd be badass. To you wash your hands? Why would I wash my hands? Well, there's no reason for me to do that. Okay. It's obviously 400. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. This is an e dude. This is an easy quiz, man. Apparently, this is a the joke. Mounts which you need to collect. Damn. For the very last mount of I'm feeling smart as hell. For getting this, player is okay. awarded with frenzied felt on mount. This mount sucks. Fifth question. How many faction leaders do I need to kill as the Lions player to get 4D Alliance as of start of Shaolin's expansion? A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. Or D. 4. Okay, let me think. At the start of the Shadowlands expansion. So, you still have Velen. And you have the guy in, uh, in Iron Forge. That's 2 for sure. Is Anduin? I think at the start of the patch, Anduin is still there, so it would be three. But Malfurion and Taronda aren't there anymore. I think it's three. Let's go with three. What? Oh, as an alliance... Yeah, it's Lorthamar and fucking Bane Bloodhoof. I, I knew that. Like, I literally fucking... I, I read the question wrong, man. That's not even my fault, dude. That's not my fault. I read the fucking question wrong. I knew that. I literally found this out myself. This is some bullshit, man. I feel like I'm back in fourth grade. I would do this all the time, man. Now they're doing it to me again, dude. I'm counting it as me Pretty getting it right. Pretty obvious stuff for now. Because I got it wrong. Right now, we are jumping into okay, hero here tier. From now, each question right. is worth two points. Sixth question. Okay. Which of those achievements are unobtainable? A. No. Herald of the Titans. No, no. no. B. Upper Black Lock no. Spire. C, yes. C. A tribute C. to immortality. C. Or D. Let's see. 100% C. That's from getting a tri trial of the Grand Crusader uh, without having anybody die. It's an easy C. That's the easiest C in my life. I know what this is.
Seventh question. It made it way easier. Getting which legendary item along with feat of strength awards a player with a mount? Is it A. Shadow Morn? B. Dragon Wrath? That's this is so confusing because like Shadow Morn gives you the box which gives you a mount, but Dragon Wrath gives you a uh, the staff that turns you into a mount. This is this is a confusing question. So it, it, this is very unclear. Third this is rest. this is bullshit. Okay. C. This is 100%. But it's not that one. It's not that one. Or D. No, it, it's a. Uh, it's, it's probably Shadowmore. Let's say Shadowmore. Pro it's probably gonna say Shadowmore. Chrisman Death Changer is a mount related to Shadowmore, but you can get only after getting the weapon. On the other hand, Dragon Wrath allows you to shapeshift into the dragon, not ride it. So this is not a mount. Well, it still Dragon awards you. Related to nah, that that's that, that's no. Like it's a trick question. It's not really a trick question because like the syntax of the question is not fully explained. So it, it's intentionally misleading and confusing. It's intentionally Eighth confusing. question: Which reputation has been removed from insane with the membrane achievement requirements? A. No. Dark one fair. B. Shendrila. Yep, yep, yep. Dark, dark, yep, 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 to make the effort noticed, the developers added feat of strength called Agent of Shandlalar, rewarded for getting I never got it. reputation. I felt stupid for not having it. Ninth question. Mad World. Is the achievement he can get for? Visions. A. Yep. Finishing horrific yes. vision run with five masks there active. Is. B. You cannot get this achievement. C. Completing all objectives of Horrific Vision in Stormwind and Ogrimmar while having Ooh. at least four masks active. Or D. Completing all objectives of Horrific Vision in Stormwind and Ogrimmar while having at least five masks I active. I think it's D. I'm pretty sure it's D. The achievement was earned after completing all objectives of Horrific Vision in Stormwind and Ogrimmar while having at least five masks active, but it's no longer obtainable since the Shadowlands pre-patch. At least after. This is that that's that's unclear because you can get it, you just can't get it anymore. Like it, it's just it, it. This is a this is a confusing question. Yeah. The achievement was earned after completing all objectives of Horrific Visionist in Stormwind and Ogrimmar while having at least five masks active, but it's no okay, longer obtainable go. since the Shadowlands pre-patch. Tenth question. Which of the following achievements cannot be soloed? Okay. A. Holding hands. You can solo that. B. Super massive. You can solo that. C. Only C. the yeah, it's C. It's C. Or D. Glory of the Ice Cream Raider. Yeah, it's C. 100% C. It's 100% C. Holding hands is the achievement that grabs from Holgara, which is the fourth boss in, uh, uh, it's the fourth boss in Dragon Soul. And then Supermassive is the achievement that requires you to close three black holes on Algolon in, uh, in, in Olduwar. And then only the Penitent is the one that makes you have to click all six of the little things on the way over to Major Domo. So it's, uh, it's C. It's clear we see. Now you will have the chance to prove that you are a real neckbeard as okay. we head over to minting difficulty. Here we go. All right. Each question is worth Focusing. three points, so Planning. the total Getting amount ready. of points you can get in this stage is equal to the total amount of two previous stages. So be careful. <sighs> okay. Eleventh question: The ultimate collection is rewarded for getting all of the legendaries. A. Getting 350 mounts. It's a B. guild achievement. Achievement is no longer obtainable. C. 
obtaining 9 legendary items. Or D. Collecting C. 300 battle pads. It's C. There it is. The ultimate collection is a guild achievement reward yep. for getting 9 different easy. legendary items. Easy, easy, easy. 12th question. Easy, easy. Getting easy. boldly you the power of Ragnar's feat of strength was possible. Available during the 10th anniversary of World of Warcraft whenever you completed the event. There it is. The achievement was possible to get yeah. during WoW's 10th anniversary when the instance was scaled to This was dog shit, by the way. Period. Yeah, you got, got the core hound as well. I remember this. I had it. 13th question. I still have it, actually. What am I thinking? I still Which have it. Which of the following expansion was the last one introducing Realm first feat of strength? BFA. A. BFA. Mists of Pandaria. B. Warlords of Draenor. C. Legion. It's BFA. D. Battle for Azeroth. Yep. Realm first are almost completely abandoned yep. by Blizzard. Battle for Azeroth introduced single achievement obtainable yep. on character level. Oh fuck, you're right. There it is. to finish plus 15 mythic run within the time limit. Okay. 14th question. Next. That rabbit's dynamite is the reference to which cultural text? Uh, Monty Python. A. Dr. Doyle from 1998. B. The Matrix. C. Monty yep. Python's C. Holy Grail. C. Or D. Dr. Doolittle? You guys think it's Dr. Doolittle? Achievement is the reference to Monty Python's Holy Damn, Grail. Damn, dude! Rabbit. Damn, dude! Question 15. That's crazy, I got that Which one right too. Which of the following achievement names does not match the others? Okay. A. Swift Flight Form. Okay. B. The Ancient Keeper. C. Proof of Demise. Okay. D. It's over 9,000. The Ancient Keeper, because all of the other ones are feats of strength. The key for answering correctly to this question was to figure out that it's over 9,000 falls into feats of strength category, whereas others to legacy. Okay, so that's the video. Uh, like, that's kind of weird, man. I, I don't know. I feel like this is like... Like, the entire quiz is, like, trying to figure out, like, what kind of, like, hidden meaning the questions have. Like, I, I hate quizzes like this because I always assume that, like, the questions are trying to just, like, you're trying to just ask a simple question, right? Whether it's not some kind of, like, trick, weird, like, it's, like, some intentionally deceptive syntax of the of the question. I, I, I hate that, man. It's a puzzle, not a quiz. Yeah, it's not really fun.